Merry Christmas from John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're up ice fishing in St. Germain, Wisconsin. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Hey, 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 John Gillespie! Big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. How do you guys? Oh my awesome. God. Yes, folks, we're up in Vilas County, and first of all, I'd like to wish all of you a... Merry Christmas! And a Happy New Year! Yeah, today is December the 21st, and, and as I mentioned, up in Vilas County. And, and Rob, first thing I want to talk about, a week ago, we, went, we couldn't fish out here. You actually had too much snow. You know, we started off with about 30 inches of snow since Thanksgiving, and... Wow. Uh, it just kept coming and, and we didn't have a lot of ice to, uh, to begin with to support that snow. It's amazing how Mother Nature just turned around and I mean we didn't need the big bad storm that we got but the rain changed it to where we're at and in two days we went from no safe ice to eight inches. That is awesome. Yeah, folks, that's the good news up here in Vilas County. If you're coming up uh, for the holidays, uh, the ice is great, isn't it? As far as the most popular fishing lakes, I mean, it's all got good ice. Well, Merry Christmas to you because we're Thank gonna you. pan fish today. Yeah, I'm excited to be back on the ice. Crappies and bluegills, Rob, and yeah. we got a nice crew today. We'll catch something, right? I, I hope so. Yeah, I do too. Hey, folks, let's show what we're using and how we're using it. All that coming up right after this. Len Groom from Amsoil here, and we're talking about trailer bearings. One of the most neglected pieces on that trailer are the bearings. People just don't think about them, especially with a boat trailer where it's going in and out of the water, even an ATV, UTV trailer, or a snowmobile trailer that's going down the highway in the water in adverse conditions. You always want to make sure you check those bearings and apply some grease when you can. You definitely want to check them seasonally. Amsoil's water-resistant grease is a perfect choice for your trailers. For more information on any of our greases, check out amsoil.com. Hey folks, all my fishing buddies really love the new lightweight Jiffy Torch. Yeah, John, what I love about the torch is I can connect it to a drill for super lightweight, or I can connect it to an electric power head if I'm gonna go pound a ton of holes in one day. This is a hex steel construction shaft, super durable, super lightweight, and it's gonna last year over year. When they added the ripper cutting blades to the torch, that really finished it off. They're super reliable, been around for a long time and they always stay sharp. For more information on these revolutionary new products, go to jiffyonice.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, in St. Germain, Wisconsin, doing some bluegill crappie fishing, Blake. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Acme has come out with some pretty neat baits this year. This is a tungsten castmaster with a single hook. And the tungsten keeps your line straight because it's heavier, right? Yep. Yep, and I have a little tungsten jig on, uh, orange with yellow dots on it, with a little waxy on the bottom. Waxy, I'll try plastic, you try waxing, we'll see what happens. All right, let's do it. This is kind of nice, we're all sitting together here about oh, 10 earth. feet apart, is and yeah, that is a nice bluegill. Now, what do you think that is, Rob, about seven and a half, eight inches? Yeah, it's really close to eight. I mean, I got a big hand, but yeah, that's a that's a perfect eater right there. And you know, a lot of people don't think these cast masters work good on bluegills. They actually really do. I think it, it's actually my go-to bait when I start pan fishing at least you know for search bait because yeah. if they're aggressive they're gonna hit that and if they aren't then you can go to a smaller little tungsten but uh, Castmaster is just a great bait hey, there we go. hey Henry Abbott good to see you Merry you Merry Christmas my Merry friend Christmas. it's been a little while okay let's see oh, another decent gill oh, here I want to show the folks if we can now that is a real nice bluegill right there what do you think uh, seven and a half Hey, I want to mention we have some guests here today, uh, uh, your guests, and they are? Uh, my Uncle Mark and my cousin Chris. 
and they are here because your dad passed away last year, which I'm sorry about. Yeah, thank you. But to raise some money to do what? Uh, my mom wanted to raise some money to put a kid through flight school who couldn't necessarily afford it. So we had a big auction and benefit, and they won the trip to fish with you. This is kind of a neat deal here, folks, so we got to explain bluegill or crappie, I wonder. Oh, Ooh, nice crappie. There you go, Rob. Come here. Nice fish. Now we got to talk a little bit about uh, what I'm doing here with the <laughs> he did with, with the tungsten I'm using. You get into this deep water for panfish. We're fishing at about 20 feet. Yep. The tungsten really gives you a much better feel, doesn't it? Yeah. When it especially on these cold days like this, you know, when you have to get back right down on them real fast and everything's kind of freezing up, you know, having that extra weight really gets it down there quick and makes your job a lot easier. Nice job, Blake. Yeah. Oh, if this is a crappie, it's a big one. I don't know. Here we, oh, a little walleye. Oh. <laughs> Come on up here, Blake. Um, you know what we're doing here is we're, we're fishing basins as we talked about before with Rob. Yeah. And what you do is just drill a bunch of holes out here in about 20, 25 feet and you keep moving around and the fish move around all the time out here. Yeah, and I was noticing too on the hummingbird that they're six feet off the bottom. Yeah, that's true. With the crappies, they're always, you, you yeah. gotta fish up high. Yep. A little walleye. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, Chris, you got a fish? Ooh, now that is a nice crappie. And you were using that uh, Castmaster, weren't you? Yes. And where was that fish located? Was it suspended? Uh, it was, it was about 14 feet down. Yeah, that seems to be the pattern today. They're either five or six feet above the bottom. Henry, Henry, I had to come back. Ooh, that's a nice crappie right there, Henry. Look at that, lip them, buddy, and show them. Now, I'll, these fish, like Blake was saying before, I was way over there, she had to film the last one. These fish are, are suspended significantly. Yeah, we're in 21 feet, and this was in 14, 15. Yeah, how you, how's, how you been, buddy? I'm good, no complaints. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you? Yeah, and uh, you can cook that up for my Christmas dinner. I can do that. See him on there? Oh, yeah, yeah. There he is, there he is. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, whoa, this one's not too bad. Look at yeah, that one, Rob. Cool. Nice. That's a nice crappie. Oh, you switched to a little uh, tungsten there. I eh? went, yeah, you know what? When that cold wind started blowing, the, 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 it didn't seem to want that bigger bait. You know, go to a smaller profile. Right, right. You mean the colder wind? Win? The colder wind. <laughs> but no, you've always taught me that over the years. You get the cold front type stuff. Go to a little smaller bait. Now that's just a little Acme tungsten jig with a little yeah. piece of plastic on it. Nice. But go small in the cold weather. Huh? Right, yeah. And it's just such a finesse thing. I mean, it is frustrating as many fish as we're seeing. And it's just, you know, tough, tough bite today. It's... Yeah. I had, it took a while to coax him. There we go, John. All right, Robbie. <laughs> Uh, I just had a couple in there. No, a decent crappie right there. Yeah. We got to tell the folks, uh, <laughs> this wind has just really picked up, blowing out of the northwest at about, what, 10, 15, 20 miles yeah, an hour. Yeah, it's picking up. And it's getting colder. That could make for a tough panfish bite this afternoon. Should have been here two days ago. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we got, you know, we've got two days to fish, and we'll stick it out here today, and tomorrow oh, yeah. we'll try some tip-up fishing. Sure, we can do that. Hey, Merry well, Christmas! I this one into it, but I finally got him. Merry play. Christmas, Pete! <laughs> How are you? I'm pretty good, Sam. Oh, not a bad crappie oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, we have <laughs> we have not been drinking. <laughs> If you're wondering, I just kind of tilted over there. Sorry, buddy. Uh, no, that's not a bad crappie. Uh, not a monster, but it would be a good eater. But it was fun to tease them into it. Now, tell the folks today, it's been, you know, Rob was here the other day, and they got like 50 fish. And we had this kind of cold front move in, and we're seeing a lot of fish. It's a weather deal. This is interesting. That, that one came in high, and then another one came in, and it was really tough to tease them into it. But they've just been tough. I actually fished last night as well, John, and uh, fish were really, you know, pretty tentative. You really had to tease them in. So it's just a weather deal right now, but it could be better tomorrow. Tip up day tomorrow. Yeah. That'll well, be fun. You still jig? You certainly may, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, guys, I got your Christmas dinner. Excellent, because it's cold out, and I need something warm. Well, your Christmas dinner today is Johnsonville regular brats. Chris, you like Johnsonville's? Absolutely. Don't eat it yet. Mark, do you like Johnsonville's? Absolutely. Don't eat it yet. <laughs> hey, what I did with these last night, because I wanted to cook them fast, I 
parboil them in beer for a while, okay. about six, seven minutes. Then you throw them on the grill, low to medium heat, and cook them uh, real slow, you know, until they're golden brown. Well, oh, we're good. How good are Aren't those, those great? Awesome. No, <laughs> Jacksonville regular brats, man. That's a great Christmas treat. We were fishing the lakes of St. Germain, Wisconsin, a four hour drive from Milwaukee, five hours from Chicago, and four hours from Minneapolis. You know, Josh, you and I have been using Humminbird Electronics, gosh, for as long as I can remember. And the Helix 7, it's got GPS. Yep. Lake Master chip compatible. Yep. I like the little rod holders in the case, but also the different screens. Again, you got the... You got 2D, you got flasher mode and the GPS, and then you got your split screens. Everything in one unit. All in one package. And also, folks, you can buy the Helix 7 all-season unit, which you can use for the ice, and it also comes with a transducer that you can... Put on your boat. So, the same unit you can use on the ice, you can use on the boat. Use it all year round. Yeah, that's fabulous. Folks, you got to check out the Helix 7. Well, we had to go down a very dirty, dirty road today, and our boat got a bunch of sand, salt, and mud all over it, and that can cause permanent damage to our boat. But you have a solution. We do have the solution. It's called the AquaJet Johnson Pump Washdown System, and it is the strongest PSI washdown in the industry. Without having to haul any power washers down, any hoses, hook up, you're using the lake water, filtering the lake water, leaving your boat completely sparkling clean. Wow, I can't wait to get Johnson pumped. Oh, oh. nice bass, <laughs> sound bullet. Let's pull that yeah. up, there you go. Oh my gosh. The living some bullets. This has got a little more weight. Oh, oh look at that. There you go. Look at that! Well, day two up in Vilas County. This is the winter solstice. This is the shortest day of the year, Rob. In a tough panfish bite yesterday, we saw tons of fish on our hummingbirds, but we really couldn't get many of them to bite. Now, today we're doing tip-ups. Yep. Woke up this morning, uh, nine degrees, uh -huh. and we've got snow all day. Uh, we're walleye pike fishing. Uh, is the weather gonna hurt us? Well, I'm going to say it's not going to help us, okay. unfortunately. Uh, however, you know, what we're set up on, you know, with the snow, obviously it's a dark day. So I'm expecting some type of, you know, our, our midday bite's going to be our best. Okay, and walleyes will bite during the day? Of course, especially early ice, which, you know, it we, we just got safe ice, like, like we said, you know, in the last week. So this stuff's all been basically untouched and... Uh, Generally, it's always a good bite for us. You know, we, we have an uphill battle with the weather, but you know, we don't pick the days. No, we fishing. don't. We, we, the weather picks us. And I got to thank photographer Ryan because uh, he found my goggles. They were underneath the seat of the truck and uh, from last year. But I'll tell you what, you're driving an ATV around today, oh, folks, with, flag, with, huh? with this snow. Get a pair of goggles, we got a flag. Hey, look at that. Mark's battling something over here, Rob. Let's see what we got here. And we have ourselves a, hey, not a bad pike there. Hold them up if you can, Mark. Grab them by the back of the head and hold them right in front of you. That's not a bad fish there, buddy. Yeah, that's good Nicely good. done. Oh, no. Take your little cover off there so we can see you. Hold them out. Now that, uh, you know, there's a lot of lakes up here in northern Wisconsin that have pike. And if you're going to keep any, this is about the size you should keep. And they're delicious. Yeah, I've Did, never ate them. You never ate no. them? Now, Pete and these guys got a way to clean them to get the bones out. And they are wonderful. Okay. That's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. Now, are you enjoying this weather? Absolutely. You really are? No, I actually am. It's better, uh, better than sitting behind a desk, right? Right. Yep. Hey, hey, what do you got going there, buddy? I don't know just yet. I got a fish on here. All right. <laughs> trying, to, a... trying to figure out if it's a walleye or a northern. I'm hopeful with these head shakes. Oh, I'd love to see a walleye. It might be a decent walleye, John. It does not act oh, like Oh, yeah, a yeah, it is a walleye. No, yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it is a walleye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get him up, me. get him up. I can, I can. Oh, Let's look at suspense. that walleye. Yeah, Why, nice Merry fish. Christmas to you. Yeah. Look at that fish. Is that gorgeous or what? Yeah, that's a nice fish, John. That's, hey. I could tell right at the end. 
Yeah. Well, I just I saw like... the side of the cheek and I wasn't quite sure. <laughs> that is a beautiful walleye, Pete. you got to trust me, John. And, you know, I just talked to Rob before talking about day two. And if walleyes bite during the day and, uh, you know, you get overcast in the snow like this, and that helps the walleye this bite. This is a clear water system, but, yeah, I mean, in a day like this, it's essentially like fish in low light, so... Yeah, and they'll bite during the day, even in clear water sometimes, especially when you're a little deeper like this. Isn't that a gorgeous walleye? Yeah, beautiful. We're going to release beautiful. him, so let's get moving yep. here. Yeah. Dad. Hey, all right, Blake, way to go. You're running to the tip-ups. I'm yeah. proud of you. And trying to keep warm running to the tip-ups. Oh, a little pike a yeah. That's not terrible. but that fat one, though. Oh, look at the build on that. Yeah. What do you think of the weather today? Uh, if we didn't have the wind, it wouldn't be so bad, but you know what? It's not horrible. No, it's it's actually the wind, and but the snow is kind of neat. Yeah, yeah, that one actually we're going to keep. Get four or five nice fillets off that. That'll hit the spot. Okay, perfect. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. And a happy New, New Year. Year. Well, it looks like it's going to be a white Christmas uh, up here yes. in Vilas County, you know? Yes, it is. Hey, you know, you love to set dead bait for the pike, and, and I really enjoy fishing that, too, because when the fillet goes up, you know it's a fish. But uh, these sound bullets are exceptional, and I love them with dead bait. Let's be real quiet so you can hear that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So you have done a lot of testing, you and I together, and you definitely get more bites with the sound bullet. I've gotten to the point where I basically use the sound bullet all the time now. When I started, it was 50-50, and I just saw a lot more results. And I've seen the results on the electronics as well, on the hummingbird, dropping these down and literally seeing fish come to them. They don't guarantee a strike, but you're basically fishing a wider area because of the sound bullet. And when you're using dead bait like I'm using here, it's even more important right because there's no vibration or flash actually coming from that dead bait but you've got that sound to pull fish in from a distance and i know years ago you went to a heavy duty fluorocarbon leader and obviously this is cigar this is cigar and it's a 30 pound blue label fluorocarbon so you got some invisibility there factor these sound bullets can be run right in line like this and then to finish it off yeah number two uh, uh eagle claw laser sharp treble hook and a dead bait. And you don't need a big piece of dead bait, folks. That right there with the guts hanging out is perfect. Yeah, yeah, these are these are smaller smelt, good this time of the year. The light or the dead bait, excuse me, is normally what people think of as a late ice spring thing, but I find sometimes first ice as well. They're more deadly than live bait in, in a lot of cases. You want to try both. Hey folks, we just did that tip on, on this tip up and put the yeah. dead bait back down, right? And just, a fish grab. Just it. literally did, yeah. Feel good? Why? I don't know why. I I'm the one hauling this in. My hands are freezing. Oh, you! Oh. We got a little run there. I'm gonna have to reset it, my depth. Is that decent fish? Gotta be. Yeah. Gotta be. That yeah. is interesting, though, Rob. We just put this back down after talking about yeah. the fluorocarbon leader, and uh, and it started spinning. We hadn't even moved. Oh my God, there we go, beautiful pike. Hey, take a look at that, that's a beautiful fish, Pete. Yeah, it is. And, and that so was on nice that little piece of dead bait that we just showed, right? Yeah, we literally, it was basically a half a dead bait, a schmelt. And this is definitely a releaser pike, Rob, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And, and you wanna get them back fast this time of year, huh? Yeah, Guys? you de definitely don't want to let like them freeze. Yeah, boy, is that a beautiful fish. It is fat. And I don't, a lot of people don't realize that there's some darn good pike fishing up here in Vilas County on a few of the, the bigger lakes. But uh, if, if folks come up here, Rob, and, and target pike, it, there's tons of little ones that you can catch for fun and eat too, right? Yeah, there's a lot of lakes, John, that have just kind of an overabundance of that 18 to 24 stuff. Yeah, right. And those are the ones that you really, you know, people like to pickle them. Um, and, uh, you know, also, I, I mean, they're actually a darn good fish cooked. You yeah. know, the, the bad thing about pike is they get a bad rap because most people don't understand how to clean them properly. Right. Hey, Dad, Pete's got one on. I'm coming. I just, we just missed one over there. Another dead bait, Pete? Yeah, all of a sudden, the flags seem to be. Ooh. 
Ooh. You can't. Oh, there oh. he goes again. He's, He's not a big. He's like a pike. Oh, he's definitely a pipe. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. I didn't want to. I didn't want to move my line set. There. How are your hands doing there? Oh, I love cold hands. Yeah, well, you, you're, it's your fault. It's your tip ups that are going off. It's your fault. It's nothing like winter. Okay, here we go. That's a nice pike. Look Woo! at that. Hey. Hey, you are th that again, folks. You know, pipe. we do the science on this, Blake. That sound bullet works. And again, oh, yeah. especially yeah. with dead bait, Pete. Yeah, I think it's even more important with dead bait again because they don't move at all. They're not sending out any noise at all, and the bullet definitely draws them in. So. Absolutely. Yeah, well, I'm so proud of you, and your birthday's coming up, huh? I don't you remind How me. old are you going to be? You don't necessarily How old are you going to be? Remind me of that. I, I might be 59. Ooh, that's New Year's Eve is your birthday? Yes, it is. No, New Year's Day. New Year's Day. You weren't the first. That is my wedding anniversary, which you attended. That's true, too. Yeah. Wow. Hey, let's look back at his wedding. Isn't yeah, that nice to that. see yeah, Nestor getting married? Aww. How many years ago was that? <laughs> It'll be 14 now. Okay, wow. well, they're a lovely couple. Yes, okay, I love we're going to release this we're fish now. Let this guy go. Hey, you know what we, we got to talk about on a serious note here is the type of water we're fishing uh, early ice. And we're in about 18 feet of water, 16 feet of water, but you look for sand grass and different vegetation. Yeah, any kind of vegetation this time of the year. And then especially, John, you know, to make the point, this is a clear water system. So the ve vegetation here to me is a bigger factor because it, it doesn't die. Yeah, you know, right. Like they do in some of the dark lakes. So I think, you know, really all winter, right, right through spring, this kind of pattern will hold some fish. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. Save $70 on the Clam C560 Thermal Hub Ice Shelter on sale for $279.99. <laughs> The top features for the fishermen are the large casting decks that we have on board of the boat. We also have the highest end electronics available to the fishermen that he would really appreciate, as well as the air ride seating, things like that, really make your day on the water comfortable. Tons of room for your graphs, large live wells, bait tanks, everything is easily accessible. Hey folks, good news. You can now see the Campion Rage. My boat is on display at Kettle Marine, Jackson, Wisconsin. That was dead bait. Yeah. Okay, here comes Blake Easy to the rescue. Oh, hey, hey, there's a nice hey. pike. Beautiful job there, guys. Lots That's... and lots of pike today, huh? Yeah, there are. Oh, yeah. Hey, Pete, I'll tell you what, buddy. I'm impressed with the, with the pike today. Pretty, not, pretty nice size fish, aren't they? Yeah, they're nice size fish. They got nice bellies, and it's interesting on the dead bait pattern, too. You know, a lot of people don't try it this time of the year, but it works early ice, too. Nicely done, Mark. Smile there, buddy. Yay, Mark. <laughs> Yay. Good, Mark. Good job. Coming, Rob. Coming, Rob. All right, buddy. The snow is stopping. And it is. It's getting colder and windier. Yeah. Feel like a walleye? I don't know yet. Okay. Yep, it Ooh, is. Nice walleye there. Don't miss this one, buddy. Yeah, hang on. Hang on. Nice fish, huh? Yeah, got some good head shakes. All right. And, ooh, yeah, that is a beautiful walleye, Rob. Nice job. And we got to talk something that's really interesting here. We've got, everybody's got three tip-ups out, and that's quite a few tip-outs. We got five guys here. This flag has gone up how many times? Uh, more than the rest of them. Yes. No, that is interesting. Is this on a certain piece of structure or something? Uh, it's on the tip of a point. Okay. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2021 Fishing Contest. Mark Gonette of Waukesha caught this 44-inch salmon on Lake Michigan on a spoon. Tina Willis of Marinette caught this 43-inch northern on the Bay of Green Bay on a shiner. Doug Gartsky of Heartland caught this 29-inch cut bow trout in Colorado he was using a night crawler. Ken Aker of Plainview, Minnesota caught this 16-inch crappie on Woman Lake he was using a minnow. 
And this week's kids winners are Eamon Mockick of Sheboygan caught this 50-inch muskie in Oneida County on a soft tail. And Andrew Fretson of Deerfield caught this 16-inch crappie in Highland Park on a grub. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week, save $100 on the Ion R1 8-inch ice auger on sale for $499.99. And save $40 on the Vexlar Gens Pack fish locator on sale for $249.99. Okay, Big Henry Abbott. All right, buddy. All right. This one hasn't gone up for a while, folks, as you can see by all the snow. All right, Henry. How you doing there, Big Hen? Good. Yeah? Is he doing good? No. <laughs> Look no, at all he's... that snow. <laughs> oh, please be there. And anything, Henry? Yeah, way to go, Henry Abbott, one of the all-time greats. <laughs> all right, buddy. Hey, you're smiling. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at Henry's Christmas pike. <laughs> Is that going to serve your entire family, Henry? Six, seven more of those. Have yourself a cocktail. Nice job there. No, Henry, is that your Christmas dinner? This is it. Yeah. Well, Merry Christmas to you, buddy. Merry Christmas. Hey, thanks for coming out. Hold out that beauty. Hold them out. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Way to go, Henry. If you're a woman angler, you're going to love this new suit. It's the Ice Armor by Clam Motion Float Rise Suit. This is a very warm, warm suit, but it also has an extra layer of the motion float technology in case you fall through the ice, you'll float. The woman's suit also has this new inner liner, fuzzy, and it's super, super warm and cozy. And the bibs are adjustable to your height. For more information, go to clamoutdoors.com. On that two inch hyper hammer, look at that. This bait has three super unique features. The built in glass rattle, it's a play off the of Google Eye jig series that's been phenomenal for open water walleyes, incorporating it now in a jigging minnow for ice fishing and open water. The brass slider, which is the hammer in the middle that slides back and forth, so you have a glass rattle and a hammer pin going back and forth making two different types of unique noises and then the third feature which is the most unique is a soft tail that rotates up and down to give it two different types of actions and again you can change out that tail to a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So John you haven't heard of Brian's custom steps? Oh Pete those are awesome how can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's custom steps, call 920-315-0333. Hey Santa, you want to lead us in a song? We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, folks. Yay! Merry Christmas!